Okay, I want to tell you a little bit about the brain gym exercises. They are, there are 26 exercises that have scientifically been proven to increase academic and physical performance. There is brain gym for golf, there's brain gym for salespeople, there's brain gym for students, etc. Uh, the brain gym that we use are the original brain gym exercises for students. There are 26 of them, as I said. The very first one is drinking water, which you might think is kind of weird, but water is so very important in being able to study and learn. If you are the least bit hydrated, it uh, makes a deficit in your learning. That It makes you so that you can't learn as easily as if you are fully hydrated. So. Uh, these 26 exercises really do work, and I am excited to be able to bring them to you. On our YouTube channel, they are the most popular, some of them having well over a thousand and some 2,000 views, which is very good for a, an outfit as small as we are. Now, um, when we went to learn about the exercises, we went to a little small town in Colorado, up in the mountains, a very nice setting, but we could only afford for one of us to take the class, and so I went to take the class, and my husband decided that he would sit at a picnic table outside and read a book. Well, the teacher was bothered by this man that was sitting out there and asked the class if anybody knew who that was, and I said, oh, I, yes, that's my husband. Um, uh, well, does he teach too? I said, yes, he does. Well, why isn't he here? Because we couldn't afford two tuitions. He said, bring him in. So he came in, and she discovered very quickly that he had a problem with his hearing. Well, I had to step out of the room for a couple of minutes, and when I came back, I was told what happened during my absence, that she had had my husband do uh, some of the exercises that were especially helpful for hearing, and that all of a sudden he had blurted out, I can hear. So it had helped to improve his hearing. That was our first indication that these exercises really do work. After we returned home, one of our granddaughters was in a regional cross country race and uh, she had hurt her ankle. It, she wasn't supposed to run but others on her team had dropped out, and so if the team was, were, was going to qualify for the state finals, she had to run. Well, when we arrived at the race, uh, her father was massaging her ankle, and I said, hey, would you mind if we try a, a couple of the exercises we just learned? Let's just see if they work for you. So we did. Uh, and we, we tried positive points, which helps to erase negative thoughts and so forth from the system. And then we used one other exercise. I don't remember what it was. But our granddaughter <laughs> not only ran in that race, she ran without pain, and she had a personal best. She came in first on her team. Now, to me, that was quite uh, a testimonial that these exercises really do work. But that was not all. We still had about a week and a half of uh, summer school left, and we were we were tutoring kids that summer. One of our little gals was uh, a gal that had had dyslexia, and she was just coming off of dyslexia, and her reading speed, I believe, was like 37 words. No, was it 37 words a minute? Um, no, I think it was more like, yeah, anyway, whatever it was. So anyway, she, um, my husband taught her the exercises that were pertinent to her situation and asked her to do them. Well, she didn't, and she came back, and she, she had not done the exercises. So that was a Tuesday that she came back the, the second time after he had tried to teach her the exercises. And so he said, do them, do them, you know, we want to see if they really work and if they will help you. So between Tuesday and Thursday, so on Tuesday and Thursday, on Wednesday and Thursday, she did the exercises. And on Thursday, 
or whatever her reading speed was, it had doubled in just that short a period of time. These exercises really do work. They really do help you. Uh, if you will do them, do them correctly and consistently. It is not necessary uh, for you to do them more than a couple times a day unless you have a specific problem that needs to be addressed. And if you do, then do the exercises more than once. For example, it is very common for young children, especially boys of ages five or six, to have a little bit of a problem learning to read. Usually uh, their visual acuity isn't quite all set up in their brain and they, and if, unless they are extremely active, uh, they're not going to have the neurological maturity to really learn how to read. So how do you solve that? You solve that by doing some of these exercises, particularly cross crawl, lazy eights, the elephant, those are three which are very important uh, in being able to help uh, the kids really learn and create that neurological um, development that needs to happen. So, as I said, these exercises work, use them, teach them to one another, teach them to your friends, your family. Um, it, it is an exciting method to help us to increase our performance, not only in our learning, but in other aspects as well.